Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. I am here at the world premiere, the red carpet launch of Kenny, a film dedicated to King Kenny Dalglish, the life and times from joining Liverpool Football Club through to, you know, the, the agony, the ecstasy, the ups, the downs and everything in between of being arguably the greatest man ever to represent Liverpool Football Club. Some of the best and brightest of the Liverpool world, from players to celebrities, are going to be here at the launch. We're going to try and catch a few words with them and hopefully the man himself as well. Kenny, six league titles, three European Cups, you've got a stand at Anfield named after you and now you've got a movie dedicated to your life. What's, what's next? Victory on the golf course, I think. That'll be a bit... <laughs> uh, no, I'm very fortunate that... Um, We've had a uh, successful time in the profession that, that I chose to go through. Um, we're lucky, really. We're a lot more fortunate than other people to be to have the number of titles, cups that we've won, uh, to have the success we've won. But more, more important, to have the camaraderie and the friendship of the people that, that we've worked with. What a man, what a legend. Try, if you can, to sum up how much Kenny Dalglish means, not just to Liverpool, but to this city. Yeah, we've got thousands of players in our history that scored tens of thousands of goals. We've got so many people that have been so involved in this club. I can think of nobody that has been deeper involved in the fabric of what Liverpool Football Club means than Kenny Dalglish. And, you know, he's the only guy got a stand named after him, so he's be something special. So it's, it's going to be an exciting evening. It must be great for you to be able to come and, uh, and honour Kenny Dalglish, a man who played such a pivotal part in your career. Yeah, of course. Um, he's had, had a massive influence on my career, really. Obviously brought us to this club um, and helped us a lot to settle in when I first came. He was a, he was a big part, a big reason why I came as well. Um, so I'm, I'm delighted to be here in a part of this night. You, you're a blue growing up. You'd have hated Kenny Dalglish, I guess, as a kid watching him from across the park. What's it like when you walk into Liverpool and he's there? And yeah, you know, what, what's that? What's, what's that like? Well, he was, he was the, when I joined Liverpool. He was the manager yeah. of the club, and uh, yeah, I did hate maybe too strong a word, <laughs> grudging respect, I would say. <laughs> and uh, but no, he, he was he knew me from a very young age. He knew me from ten. I used to train with his own son Paul, who was at Liverpool at the time, so he was like another dad. He'd come and watch, and uh, he nicknamed me Sharpie because I was a mad Everton fan. I was a centre forward, would you believe? Yep. So to this day, he still calls me Sharpie, That's Kenny Ragley. So yeah, yeah, I've known him, as I said, you know, a very long time now. Great respect for him. And I just think it's, it's fantastic. If anyone deserves a film about him, Kenny Daglish does. There's mentions in it about how the the, the competitive spirit and the, and the, what what the relationship that you two had that he yeah. he drove you on because he expected nothing less than you to to to, to win stuff. Yeah, he, he never like even when you're playing golf, it's not encouragement. It's like I remember when we were playing, and it was I actually changed my dads and lads partners when I was younger to Alan Hansen because. It, <laughs> I couldn't play with him anymore. I remember playing once and I'm over this putt and he's on my team. And I've, I've really got to get this putt. And I'm, I'm not a great golfer, right? So I'm shit myself a little bit, right? And I'm like that over it. And I missed it. And he goes, ah, can you not keep your putt a square? And I'm like, oh, that was me then, I'm done. How would you define what the Liverpool way? What does it mean to you? Um, well, obviously I wasn't, I wasn't born here. Um, neither was he, but I think when you come here, you can sort of sense that family um, feeling straight away. Um, even though when I struggled, I felt as well a large amount of the fans st stuck with us, and I'm all, I'll always be grateful for that because um, they helped us through tough times. Um, and hopefully, I can, I can repay them by putting in good performances um, over the coming years. First and foremost, I had no idea. Big Liverpool fan? Nor have I. What am I doing here? That's what I want to know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been for years. Yeah. So absolute, you know, when you get the opportunity to come and see a film about Kenny Dalglish, you're not missing it for the world. No, I owe Kenny Dalglish. He's he's a good bloke. Do you? I mean, do you you know about Kenny Dalglish? I've heard about Kenny Dalglish. He's done a thing or two yeah, in his career. Well, he's done a few things. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, Kenny's a really, really fantastic. He's small. Yes. I thought he was a hobbit. <laughs> uh, I said to him, I was with him once at uh, the cup final, the Carling Cup final. Actually, he gave me his tie. Really? Yeah, he said, because uh, I never usually wear a tie. And uh, I was at the Carling Cup final, and I was sort of standing in the dressing room, and he said, uh, Oh, sorry, what are you? And I said, uh, Yes, yes, absolutely, Kenny, that's right. Because you can't understand, I hope this film's got freaking subtitles, I'll tell you that. 
Um, no, because he, he, he said, where's your tie? And I, I said, I don't never wear one. And he put the tie around my neck and uh, it's now hanging in our, in our house. Is there anyone who, who, who almost sums up what the Liverpool way is better than Kenny Dagley? Not really, yeah. I think, yeah, that's, that's probably the best way to put it. He's so humble and, and so normal as a person. He'll talk to everyone and anyone and you feel at ease when you speak to him. Um, and I think that's great credit to him because of how big he is and how much he's achieved for this football club. What does the, the expression the Liverpool way mean to you? Because it gets, it gets bandied around a lot and no one ever seems to have a, everyone seems to have a different interpretation on it. What, 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 if, the, if those words have a specific meaning, what are they to you? On a football pitch? Sure. I think it's basic. You pass it to somebody with the same colour of strip on as yourself, you've got a better chance of winning, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's the, way I, that's the way I interpreted it anyway. Fantastic. Oh, that's nice! He hit the ground running. Straight away, you could tell this fella is something special. He's got a second chance because Harris's clearance was a bad one, and he's curled it in. The minute he started playing, I was mesmerised. Kenny Dalglish, much too good a player to be given a second chance. We thought we've had it good up to now. This is going to be great. The shot and it's going in. If I was a manager, he'd be the first name on the team sheet week after week. He had grace. He had skill and he had football intelligence. You saw the player that had all the time in the world. You knew there was something special there. He had three defenders around him. He went one way, he went the other, and then he went between them. And as he came from going the other way, I'm sure his shoulder was almost on the ground. He was like a dancer.